LOL gang, welcome back to the Life of Lionel B channel with your boy Lionel B. Now peeps, there's a video right now going viral of a 15 year old and allegedly he was actually shot several times and then you can actually see him on a door cam from the neighbors that's across the street and he actually gets thrown out of the vehicle that he's riding in. Now guys, it appears to be a 2009 Toyota Camry and basically part of the incident was captured in video. Now guys, the strange thing about it is, is for one, people are trying to figure out for how did he actually get hit up and also why was he thrown out of the vehicle. Now some people on social media are speculating that possibly it looks like they may have tried to do a drive-by because there were sounds going on before the teen is actually brought into frame. And some other people are saying, man, it looks like he might have dropped a blicky outside that vehicle when he was thrown out. And also looks like he had on a ski mask, y'all. So let's break this video down and see if we can see what these people are talking about, man. Let's get into it. Following the gunfire, you see the teenage victim fall out of a dark colored sedan and roll out into the street before screaming for help and collapsing in a nearby driveway. Clarksville police saying the teen did have multiple gunshot wounds and was flown to a Nashville hospital. Now, a few takeaways um, from that particular video, guys. For one, you know, he's thrown out. And people instantly said on social media, it looks like he had his hoodie tied kind of tight, so you can't really see his face. Now, let's look at the clip again where he's actually thrown out of the vehicle. Something actually flips in the air. So I'm going to try to actually uh, bring the video in uh, a little bit closer so that way you guys can see it better. All right, so let's try this video now, y'all. The video is disturbing. All right, well, it definitely looked like a cell phone. It don't look like he had a blicky. It looks like a cell phone was thrown out and a, a cell phone actually started flipping. Now, guys, if you didn't peep, let's peep his face. Now, I'm going to play the rest of this clip. We got to see his face, man. I got other clips as well. Make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all haven't subscribed already, man, I love doing reactions on this channel, man. So let's get back into this video, y'all, and let's see if we can actually see his face better. All right, here we go. Following the gunfire, you see the teenage victim fall out of a dark colored sedan. Now that was definitely a cell phone, guys. So now let's check out the clip of his actual face. Now some people are saying he actually has on a ski mask. And of course, we already know he got the hoodie on. So let's go ahead and bring up the footage of him actually rocking the ski mask. Because some people are saying, man, like, dude did some foul stuff. And it looks like now he want to start screaming and hollering. I'm not really for sure. In the meantime, in between time, let's check out the footage, man, of the ring camera that captures his face and all of that. Check out this clip right here. This is actually showing uh, more angles. And let's see if we can actually see his face on here. Now, right there is actually where you can actually see the ski mask. Um, he's got the hoodie on and the ski mask is covering his face. Looked like he tried to do some gangster stuff and stuff just got all the way too real for the youngin. Let's check this out. Now, at that point, guys, it looks like he did actually remove the hoodie, you know, after he realized that, you know, he was kind of he was conscious. He was OK. He did actually end up collapsing in the actual driveway. I do want to run the clip one more time, guys, so y'all can really see the face. Cause I know sometimes um, if you're watching the videos on, you know, like a little screen or something like that, I want y'all to be able to really see this right here. So let me go ahead and um, uh, enlarge the video so you guys can actually see it better.
All right, let's run that video again, y'all. Now here's the part where he's getting ready to actually remove his hoodie. And you can still see the ski mask, guys. There's a big old ski mask on his face, man. When keeping it gangster goes wrong. Now, of course, guys, we got to wait to hear the whole entire story. Um, we got to wait on some more information to come out, man. But it sounded like they were doing some shit that they didn't have no business doing. Now, in that first clip, y'all can hear, you know, saying there's some shots let off. And then all of a sudden, you hear this car, and you see the car coming in the frame, and all of a sudden, dude gets thrown out. So some people are saying, man, maybe they did, you know, they sprayed up somebody, and then dude started busting back. That's probably where the dude actually, you know, got hit up on. And then all of a sudden, maybe the drivers and the other friends got scared, threw him out the car, and dude started freaking out, guys. So let's check out the original video again. I want to see that, man. Something's off about it. You know, I don't think some friends just hit him up in the car and threw him out the car. Because I think there would have been, you know, holes and all that around the car. So let's check this out, y'all. I want to warn you, that video is disturbing. So right there, y'all can hear those things being let off right there. So right after those sounds, then all of a sudden you hear somebody hit the gas. So it sounded like they were right down the street doing something. Already, you get him he getting thrown out. They ain't, they ain't even wait for bro. They ain't even wait for bro. They like man. That's wow. Following the gunfire, you see the. That's wow, man. As a parent of teenagers, man, like that stuff scary. You know, hopefully more information will come out. Uh, about his situation they said he is you know okay they actually airlifted him to another neighboring town to get treatment apparently he's gonna make it um and also they said there was another kid he's about 17 years old who actually went into the hospital as well and he suffered from a gunshot wound so they're trying to see if they if they know each other you know what i'm saying maybe it was a 17 year old they tried to probably bust at him and then he ended up busting back but they did say a 17 year old on the same day actually went into the hospital suffering from a wound and he's okay as well. So right now, the police are investigating. If y'all got more information on this story, man, make sure y'all drop it in my comment section, man. Again, if y'all haven't subscribed, make sure y'all subscribe to your boy. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.